So guys, we find ourselves back out nice and early in the morning. Things have changed. Things have genuinely changed. Now, I'm not gonna ramble on for ages this morning because there's just nothing much to say apart from, I think I'm a changed person, like genuinely. I have never, ever, ever in my whole entire life ever came to a part of where I thought I would ever enjoy getting up at this time of the morning and coming to the gym and doing my cardio, doing my steps, but I'm finding myself so much more productive. I'm finding everything about the morning just so much more productive. Everything's so much better. <laughs> I've kept this routine in since the last video, literally every single day, and I don't plan on taking it out. Like I genuinely don't plan on taking it out now. I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna start getting up at this time now and getting my cardio done, getting abs done, getting stretching done, getting that out the way. And then by the time I get home, still nice and early, still nice and productive, kickstart a lot of work and get a good work block done. I'm obviously eating meal number one a little bit earlier than normal and everything's just so much different. But 191 and a quarter this morning, that actually did surprise me because I trained legs yesterday in which sometimes I normally actually find that after legs, I actually do weigh a couple of pounds heavier. And I don't believe that from the last 192 and a quarter, I've dropped a lot off to then only be 191 and a quarter. So. I'm not too sure where that is. I'll take my weight again later on in this week and see where we're at. However, I am on the way to Ultraflex. Sarah is on the way to Pilates. And we're gonna take you guys through a full day in the life. Somewhat anyway. So don't forget to drop the video a like for me, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new about here. And let's get on with this day. If there's one thing I can't believe, it's how much people still underestimate the power of doing this right here. Steps. This is the least strenuous form of activity. This is ultimately what does make up your overall day's expenditure as well. Whether you do it in the gym, whether you do it at work, whether you do it outside, this is going to be the most less fatiguing thing on your body, but it's going to make up the most calories going out over the course of each and every single day. Now, this is actually what you'll find. Most people will actually not need direct cardio. Now that is not me saying everybody doesn't need it because it's very person dependent. However, a lot of people do not need direct cardio when they can actually just focus on overall movement. And the more you put a little extra time and effort and focus onto your overall expenditure from steps, I genuinely think you'll surprise yourself in finding what's actually possible from a beneficial perspective, both when you're growing and when you're trying to drop body fat as well, because not only does it help whenever you're growing from things like building up your appetite, keeping that demand there, helps your digestion a lot, it helps food move. When it comes to fat loss, as we know, creating just enough of a calorie deficit to be able to trick your body into fat loss, steps are the one. That is the first part of the morning done. Cardio, steps, now I've got to quickly go to Tesco and then we can get on with some work. Once I get my work done, what I tend to do is just hit a block out of work around two hours and then I'm most definitely ready for the first meal of the day, which as you guys know is of course my pancakes, but it just actually means now after my work, don't need to go out my walk because it's done and it genuinely feels really good that it's finished. It feels good that I've done cardio because now I can just focus on training. Like now my head is just so screwed on towards training. It allows me to go home, get all my work done, get everything I need done. And then I can switch across to athlete mode properly and just focus on coming in and lifting weights and training chest because that is what we're on today. Guys, pro tip, whenever you are coming shopping or you're going anywhere for that matter, park in the furthest car park away. If you're wanting to burn more calories, you're wanting to up that expenditure, you're wanting to get more steps in is one of the easiest ways ever without even noticing it. Just park so much further away because you're gonna be able to have to get there anyway. You're gonna get them steps in, you're gonna burn more fat and at the end of the day, if that's the goal, then that's only gonna benefit you so much. Nobody call me out on it, but these right here are literally one of the best 
sweets on the planet like i used to always eat them as a child like they were my always go-to's and to be fair when i move into the off season they're like something that i do like as a little treat like once in a while to be fair i say that now i'm probably never gonna eat them however i think they're called like jazzies or something like that and the white chocolate ones the, the milk chocolate ones really good white chocolate ones ah they're like 10 tens they just hit different what's the name uh, Empire Fate, yeah. Empire Fate? Yes, my man. You're in the Durham area. Empire Fate's the place. Yes, my Love place. that. Can I get a regular skinny latte with sugar-free caramel syrup, please? Can I just get um, one shot of coffee in that as well, please? Instead of two. One shot of coffee. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the best other half award goes to that is a coffee that is a grenade protein bar in the space of about 40 minutes guys one thing i will say remember who the fuck supports you remember who the fuck is in your corner don't be a dick No problem. If you're brand new to the channel and you're watching my videos for the first initial time, I don't actually know if you know, but whenever you are about 26 weeks deep into a competition prep, a big fat plate of, I'm gonna say 80 plus pancakes hits differently for meal number one. Pre-workout of choice today, Train Smart V2 from Unrivaled Nutrition. So not a crazy, crazy, crazy stim like defib but a very high focus based pre-workout which i'm a very big fan of um throughout any session to be honest like i could take this on a push focus session or i could take this on a leg session the focus from it is absolutely incredible the red pills here are ride on so six of them will go in pre-workout the blue one is my fat burner which is a fever 40 so both of them from hr labs and i also have my intra in here which again is from HR Labs, which is just Hydro EAA. So only one supplement in here, um, my essential amino acid. Throughout the off season, I would take in Carb Up and Level Up V2, but they have actually been taken out for prep just for the back end right now. But we still have Hydro EAA in here, which is my essential amino acid. So the first of two gas borders in for today, you'll see the second one later on in the video. So stay tuned for that one. We have got some dark camo mesh bottoms so these are actually some of my favorite bottoms and the dark camo ones are really nice long sleeve tops here so these are like long sleeve t-shirts kind of pump covers we've got gray and black we've got black and we also have washed green and black these are brand new just out literally i mean they've just been released and gasp were very nice to send them all out to me so of course i had to go straight in with one for today's session but we are going to keep the portion of this session in this video to a nice and short one because to be honest with you it wasn't in and out job I, I wanted on quite a few things that were literally taking the whole session so i had to kind of improvise or to regulate a little bit in the session so we began with these incline cable flies we then hit some barbell incline, yes, barbell incline, poverty, of course, because it's not something I've done in about 25 years. I'm also a week out, feel horrendous, sent 100 kilograms, actually didn't feel the worst. But genuinely, on a serious note, though, it was um, one of them days where anything I wanted done was taken for literally the whole time that I was in, never mind giving myself 5-10 minutes to wait on a piece of equipment, so I just never waited. I just literally used what I could Got in, got the job done, got back out because I'm running pretty flat at the moment, guys, especially throughout things like pushing sessions. They're not my favourite as it is, but it was one of them, get in, get the job done, in which I absolutely did that. I was hitting still two to three working sets per movement, so I was just auto-regulating by pyramid and up the way, not doing tops and back-offs or anything. I was literally doing like a set of eight to 12 reps, going up eight to 12, up eight to 12, until I kind of got to that part where I knew the next initial two or three sets were going to be pretty much failure sets. We also hit some biceps and triceps for that matter, but that was pretty much it for this session. By this point, I got a little bit of a pump, but to be honest with you, throughout any sort of movements in this session, I was running pretty, pretty, pretty flat. But it is to be expected, and it is something that they often say, you either get flat or you stay fat. And I think we can see the condition is coming through. It's not there just yet. 
I would definitely like to be a little bit tighter. However, we have time, it is coming, and that is the only thing that matters. So we wrapped it up, of course, with some posing, post-workout, and that was pretty much us done for that session. Guys, we've only went and picked up, once again, another gasp parcel. What's in this one, though? <laughs> Just actually been on a really nice night sarah surprised me with matt rife tickets which is a comedian for anybody that doesn't know i'm assuming most people will hopefully know who matt rife is but genuinely one of the funniest nights ever but it went on a little bit longer than expected and i never actually had food with me not that you'd be allowed to even take tupperware in um, because you weren't allowed to take bottles or anything like that and i had a pepsi max but i just went four of what probably felt like the longest four hours of my whole entire life without food so eventually i've got back to the car chicken and sweet potato going in here it's late i've actually got another chicken and sweet potato meal to go in but i'm feeling fine now we're actually stuck in traffic anyway hence why i'm actually just going to film this little bit here really 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 good night so thank you welcome um don't even know if anybody is aware but the new gas utility jacket is exactly what came in that package earlier when i picked it up however this is even better that's than what it's like ever been because I've went that long. I've been so hungry and anything to be fair if I took it in would have felt like just been incredible. But um it's been one of them days where a lot of stuff's happened, had a good session today, have had a really good nice night tonight, which has just topped it off for sure. So we'll head home, it'll be even later, I'll get my last and final meal in and a shake. And then it'll be time for bed and it'll be time to do the exact same tomorrow. I'm going to be back up nice and early. I'm going to go and get my cardio done. And then I'm actually filming for the MBW site tomorrow, which we have got midweek back at two and a half weeks out. One and a half week out. Some amount of days out. However, guys, as always, don't forget to drop the video a like. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see on the channel whether it be in prep or when we transition into the off season let me know but don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and we'll catch up with you all in the next video